What you got? Pens. What are you, you going to do with them? Right. Why? Because I like it. Because she likes it. Can I like it? Yes. Will you share with me? Yes. Yay! Pen Talk with Evelyn right after the whistling. Um, we don't have a cameraman this morning because Sarah is on vacation. So, um, welcome to all our finders keepians for our state of address this morning. You notice this is not Sarah. No, I'm not, not. Sarah. Mm -mm. No, doesn't look anything like Sarah. Except not at all. The glasses, maybe. The glasses, maybe. Yeah. This is our friend Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, she is here to do a pen talk with us today, and so we're very excited. So okay. that's good. Hi, everybody. So we're going to talk about fountain pens, and why, why fountain pens? What, what's, what's the deal with fountain pens? Well, they are a older writing pen, obviously, mm -hmm. but I like them because they, they are fun to write with, and they're unique, and you can get all sorts of pretty ink colors, mm -hmm. and... Colors. Um, all sorts of colors. Yes. And they just they just add a certain amount of style to your writing. Yeah. And they're fun. And they're very fun. And they're very interchangeable, very flexible. Absolutely. In more ways than one, and we'll get to that later. So what we're gonna do now is as everybody knows, we like to give you good hands-on up close video. So everybody needs to close their eyes and we're gonna switch the video around so that you can see her up close and personal. So hold on, close your eyes, and we gotta play the music. I hope everybody can see us, so if you guys can let us know um, if we're in here, I think we are. There's some people that are responding. Maribel is here, and let's see. Um, who else is here? And I'm gonna turn this down <laughs> because I'm I'm checking the video over here. So Maribel is here and Yosemite is here. Sarah is actually on vacation in Yosemite. So that's why she isn't here today. Um, we're hoping that uh, she's having a great time. We know she's having a good time. She just said good shot. So that makes me feel better. Thank you Phew. so much, Sarah. <laughs> she's responding as finders keepers. So finders keepers, even though we're here, we're, we're, we're live from Yosemite at the same time. So Sarah's definitely here with us in spirit. So, um, Evelyn, um, oh wait, before we get to Evelyn's pens, I did want to let you guys know, you know, we have our new video schedule for our state of the papers and, um, we have already done several of these. Here we are today, September. This is actually the wrong date, but that's okay. Um, this is with Evelyn and then next week we're going to have a process video. Um, for the all good things easy peasy. So that'll be really cool. Um, then coming next month is our kind of completely new schedule. So um, it's on Thursdays at 10 a.m. Every Thursday there's going to be a new something put up on Facebook. And um, Evelyn, you probably, if you guys have watched any of our videos, you know that we always say hi Evelyn because <laughs> she's awesome and she always chimes in with us. So um, October 5th will be a project video. And October 12th will be our live video, and October 19th will be our project video again. And then Sarah will be back, and we will do a live state of the paper with her again. We don't have a fifth Thursday, but when there is a fifth Thursday, it's a wild card. Right? Last. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> I just wanted to touch base with that while some people are kind of coming in, because I don't want anybody to miss all of the lovely pens that Evelyn is going to share with us. Um, she's going to show us all kinds of stuff, ink, and how to fill up your pens, and how to change your ink, and all kinds of fun stuff. So, let's just get started. Pen Talk with Evelyn at Finders Keepers. Hi, guys. Da, 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 da. I'm very excited da, 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 to be da, da, da. here. <laughs> it's like a game show here at it Finders is. Keepers. It's awesome. It's very exciting. It's so, very fun. I brought with me today my lovely new pen roll. I gotta get this into the. It's in there. In You're the screen. Delayed. Okay, so um, a friend of mine made this for me. Her name is Jan, and um, we're hopefully gonna have a link to her information if you're interested in um, ordering a pen roll or something along those lines with her. She's but a cute yeah, little bow. it usually is <laughs> tied up in a cute little bow. <laughs> but um, she made this for me so that I could carry a whole <gasps> bunch of pens with me at any Look at one out. time. Look so I brought a wide variety of what I term beginner pens today. So these are pens, like if you think about cars, um, these are kind of the 
Honda Fit cars in terms in the pan no, world. It's not just Honda Fit. You said Yugo. I did. I said the Yugo or the Geo Metro. <laughs> These are Geo Metros. These are the Geo Metros. Up to maybe the like the Toyota Honda Civic, you know. The, Honda these Civic. are Honda Civic. Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Toyota. Uh, I don't remember I don't what their know. low end is. Toyota. Anyways, I don't know. So these are your beginner pens, beginner right? Pens. They um, they have some great features, but they're not. There's nothing real luxury about them. Um, they're standard. Um, the ones I've chosen are all uh, available under twenty dollars. Ooh, we like that. And we're and gonna have links to all of these. Yes, I, I think Evelyn yes. has given me a very specific, concise, and we've got we're gonna have Amazon links to everything. Yeah, I um, can't wait for you guys to be able to see these. So. Um, yeah, because, you know, when you first start out, you don't want to invest a whole lot of money in, in a pen that you don't know if you're even going to like using. So yeah. most of these, uh, well, actually all of these that I'm showing you, except for these over here, these ones are kind of the more luxury. Those are the Mercedeses over here. We'll say they're Mercedes. BMW? Acura, uh, Acura Lexus? Lexus, maybe. Okay. Yeah, th these are a little more expensive, but... Um, how, okay, how, what's the most you've paid for a pen? I have paid... Rob's uh, not watching, so you can tell us. That's true. Um, <laughs> Husband. <laughs> about $600. $600 for and that, pen. And that is not... I mean, fountain pens can go up to thousands of dollars. Hun like tens of thousands? There are some that are tens of thousands. Wow. Or 10,000. Um, I'm not... Uh, that that's not my. She's a pen addict. I am a pen maybe addict, not but I'm quite... but I'm also a pen user. Yeah. And the oftentimes the higher you get in price, the less usable the pens are in many really? ways. Really, that's Sometimes. an interesting point. Yeah. So um, we want something that we can use in our planners and yes. our calendars and just just and to, scrapbooking and, and to write letters. Yes, all those things. Okay. Um, and I use mine primarily. I do use them in my planner, but I also use them for journaling. Um, right, right. That's that's my primary focus. Cool. Um, for my pens. So again, I'm going to go through these and just talk about them a little bit. They all have um, similar feature. Again, not including these two. They all have similar features. They have steel nibs. Steel nibs. Okay. Right. And the nib is the part of the pen that you write with. Um, and then also they are all what are called, all except for one, are what are called cartridge converter pens. So Cartridge that, converter yeah, pens. Yeah, that has to do with how you fill. So these are all refillable except for this one? Correct. Okay. All of these are refillable. Um, all of them, when you first purchase them, will come with a cartridge, usually in blue or black or blue-black oh, The ink. usual. Kind of just mm -hmm. a standard, standard boring ink color. Okay. Um, but you can get more. But you can get a lot more. <laughs> so let's t start. Just start with our first okay. pen. Yeah, this, I'm going to pull these out of yeah, the pull that out of the way so that you can. So this here is the Pilot Varsity. Okay. Okay. So it's a steel nib. You said steel again. nib. This one is not refillable. This one is not refillable. It's considered it's disposable. disposable. Yes. Now I say that because there are video hacks out there for how to actually turn oh. this into a refillable pen, but um, it's not. And you know, it's it's a very inexpensive pen. Um, by itself, you should pay no more than five dollars for it. But um, you can actually buy a set of. And I have purple because I love purple. Because purple, hello. Um, but you can buy a set with many different colors, and I want to say seven pens for $10. Oh, that's a great buy. Yeah. So um, it's a really great starter pen. And again, if you want something that you just throw in your purse, I've had this pen, like they don't look like this anymore. They now have black uh, bodies and caps um, with the colored end to show you what color ink it is. I bought this pen like 15 or 16 years ago, wow. and it still writes. And it still writes. And it still writes. So that's, I'm just going to say yeah. hi there. So hi. that's, you know, one of the beautiful <laughs> things about these disposable pens is they, they just work. I mean, it, there's nothing elegant about them per se, but they're very usable. Evelyn, do you know if, and I'm sure certain inks are and certain inks aren't, um, if you do know as you're talking about these, if they're archival, if the inks Most are of these inks are not archival. Okay. Um, there are uh, a few brands, and off the top of my head, I can't think of them that right. that give you archival ink, or you can get archival right. ink. You're looking for something usually that's either says uh, registrar ink. Registrar ink. Okay. Yeah. Be and and the the difference in general between archival ink and non-archival ink is um, is one of the ingredient chemical ingredients mm -hmm. um, makes the ink permanent. Right. Okay. Right. Mostly to light and water. 
Um, right. Now, some of these have more or less water fastness to them, but generally they're not um, considered archival, but, they're, but they will last. Right, okay, okay. Um, okay, so the next pen then is the Pilot... Cucuno. I'm like the nurse. Yes, she's she the is. doctor. So um, again, you there, notice also it's... there's been a request that you write larger. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, not all the pens are inked, so I will only write with the ones that are inked. There but I will like write larger. Okay, so the Pilot Cucuno, Cucuno again is another starter pen. Oh, that's cute. And one of the things I love about this, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. the nib has a little happy face. Oh my God, it. that's adorable. Can you guys see that? There's a little happy face. It's kind of hard to see, but. He, it's there. That's so cute. Super, super sweet, right? <laughs> um, and these come with all sort. They come in in black or gray body, or sorry, gray or white bodies, and then different color caps. But again, the ink is going to be any color you want. It doesn't have to be like just because that's purple doesn't mean it has to be purple. Exactly, unless you need to match your ink to your pen body. Oh. And who, who doesn't want a good matching? Ink? And again, the Pilot Cucuno, about fifteen dollars is the most you should pay for that. 15? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the next one, I this love is this one. also a Pilot pen. Um, I'm kind of going by brand. So Pilot is a Japanese brand. You're very familiar with them. They make all sorts of gel pens and roller mm -hmm, balls mm -hmm. and I've used ball Pilot points pens forever. and markers and yeah. friction pens, all the things, right? Oh. So again, this one is called the Pilot Metropolitan. And the line that this comes from is called Retro Pop. So these come in different body colors with different little patterns, little patterns on, them. on them. Really, really sweet. So. So there, is that a Hi little better? There. Anyways. <laughs> um, Do we want to use the regular paper? We can, yes. Let's, I'm just going to switch Evelyn over to, because maybe the grid is, is it's, hindering yes. the view, possibly. The Pilot Metropolitan, you can pick up at Staples. Oh. Um, so that's just... Readily a, yeah. available. At Staples, it's going to come with the pen, the ink, and it's going to come with a cartridge that looks like this. Okay. To refill, or to so you can start writing with it immediately. If you go through the Amazon link, though, you pay a little bit more. Okay. But it also comes with a converter as well. So you can put any color ink you want with in this. Okay? So now I'm... I'm going to zoom too close. out a little bit. Okay. So I'll write with this again. There, so you guys can get a little better view. <laughs> okay. So, nice. you can see I've got a lovely turquoise ink that matches my pen. Oh, it's pretty. Because it's so pretty. I love that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. I love it. This next one is also a Pilot <laughs> pen, and this is called the Pilot uh, Penmanship pen. Okay? So this is literally designed to help you improve your handwriting. Oh. Right? Or is kind of a, a learner pen for students. It's got a slightly different grip. Okay, so it's got faceted grip. Oh, so okay, that's cool. I don't. Can you guys hold, see that? I was gonna say I don't hold my pen the standard way, the tripod method, but um, that's the correct. This way. is the proper way I hold my pen weird. But anyways, <laughs> so as stu you know, kids are learning to write. Um, it just kind of helps is, them know where to put right. their fingers. There's a very similar pen to this that is called the Plumix. Both of these that? I do. No, I don't have a Plumix, okay. but it looks almost identical. But it okay. has. Uh, pretty colored bodies as opposed to just clear. I like the clear though. You can see all the mechanisms and, both, and everything in it. Both the penmanship and the plumix you should be able to pick up for under ten dollars. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, and again, they will come with a cartridge with them. A cartridge. Does it? Do they? Um, one of the questions was about refilling, and we're going to get to we're that. We're going to get to refilling, but. Um, you yeah. Can, you, yes, you can use. The question was, can you use different colors? Yes. Yes, absolutely. You just have to clean them in between, and we're going to talk about that in okay. just a bit. So this next pen is from a brand called Platinum. This is the Platinum Preppy, and the Platinum Preppy is a super inexpensive pen, less than five dollars. As a matter of fact, I want to say we the link has it a three dollar nice retail. Okay. okay. Um, it comes in a couple different nib sizes. This one is a very, very fine one. It's 0 0.3 millimeters. 0 0.3 millimeters. Okay. okay. So this is the... Oh, 
And please excuse my horrible handwriting. No, Platinum Preppy. Okay, and one of the things I love about the Preppy, this one has a blue-black top, and so the ink color that came with it was blue-black. Here's one with the red top. The ink color that comes with this one is red. Pink, pink. Yellow, yellow. Green, green. Purple, purple. And black, black. <laughs> right? They just keep going. They just keep going. Um, but again, any of these can be refilled with different color with inks. Different colors. So if or you, you notice, can just stay with the same color. Or you can color. just stay with the same color. So the I've used up the ink inside of the violet one. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I kept this because I can put different color inks in that cartridge. That is really cool. Right? And now was this a set or did you buy those individually? I bought these, I believe in these were all purchased individually. Okay. Now this one has what's called the converter. So we'll talk about that, but I don't know if you can see this. It's got a little mechanism. Like a little plunger thing. A little plunger thing that you screw in and screw out and, you know, vacuum. So that didn't come with this one. This, correct. This was purchased separately. That's separate. And again, mm -hmm. most cart or converters for the pens are going to be about $5. Okay. Okay. For most of them. But the, the Preppy I love because so many fun colors, so inexpensive. Right. And again, you probably can get a set of all of them for, let's say, $20. Now, you said, this was this one the .03? Yes. And so can you get different, obviously? Yes, you, you can, can get, get different different, different um, nib widths nib in widths. all of these pens, except for the very first one, the right. disposable one. Which is disposable. Okay, okay. so this, this one is pretty. This is also from Platinum. This is the Plus Sear. And again Ooh, the nibs the even nib purple is purple and matches <laughs> and this one is a little more expensive the placer retails for about fifteen dollars again comes with a cartridge okay um and comes in many different body colors okay right again but I have guess a, what i have a thing for purple everyone so has a thing for purple so many purple <laughs> pens and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong ask with that. sarah <laughs> okay now this pen, I'm super excited about. This pen literally arrived in my mail. Oh, last is this night. the one that you just got? This is the one I just got because it's a just brand, for you guys. It is a brand new pen. Okay. It's from a German company called Kaweco. Kaweco. Or Kaweco. Um, K A W E C O. Yes. Um, and it's the Kaweco Perkio. Perkio. And <gasps> I love that it's like black and red. It's so like so. The name of this color, this pen comes in four different colors currently, uh -huh. and they named this color Bad Taste, ah! which I just think is but so I love cute. it. Oh, I love it too. I and love it. And it comes in both a fine and medium nib. Nice. This is a fine. So this is the... Oh, that's Coveco. so cool. I love that color. Perkio. And I filled this with an ink that I have at home. So this isn't one that came in the pen, but the pen did come with a little... Cartridge. A cartridge already. Okay. But you already. changed it out already. But I changed it out already to something else. Oh, that's so um, fun. But super, super fun little pen. This retails, again, for under $20. Um, it's a brand new line um, from Caveco. Um, the, and all of these are basically for their their brands. They're student pens. They're students. That's how, kind of how yeah. they, they talk about them. But you know, they're great. And yeah. I started using fountain pens when I was probably fourth or fifth grade. Wow, really? Um, because I had horrible handwriting and my mother bought me, a, you know, like a Schaefer calligraphy set. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That again, to, you can to get you started. To get on. me started to kind of maybe hopefully practice my penmanship. As you can see, it did not help. <laughs> but. But the thought was there. <laughs> but it did kind of start a lifelong passion for not just the pens, but the inks. Ugh, the inks. The inks are just. That's a another other. episode. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have Evelyn back because this is <laughs> this is so fun. I'm loving this. Okay. I hope you guys are too. So this next one is literally called the ABC pen. Okay. ABC. Yes, Lamy like, is the brand, and ABC. ABC. I love and it. And this is a, another German company. Again, it's got, got that kind paper. of grip like to show you how to hold your pen properly okay um and this one retails again for under twenty dollars and Lamy is a very fun brand that i like a lot <laughs> we're going to talk about them we're going to come back to this pen in a minute um this is going to be our demonstrator pen for for filling systems and a few other fun, fun things but this is just a great starter pen now it looks like a baseball bat <laughs> it does look a little bit like a baseball bat um it comes in two colors this is the blue and then there's also the red top um, 
Lamy's Next Level Up pen, which I meant to bring and forgot, okay. is called the Safari. Now, the Safari retails for about $30, okay. so that's kind of the next step up. So it's up. like the next step, It 35. is, but Yeah, but there's something, um, the nibs on the Lamy's are easily exchangeable. So I'm going to really <gasps> quick just show you this. I can literally pop this off. Oh, look at that. And get a different nib and put it back on. So like the different uh, widths. Widths, pen widths, exactly. Whatever. Yeah, and I, I have examples okay. of that. Um, so the beauty of that is the pen retails for about, again, about $20. The nibs, I want to say, are like $10 to $15, depending on where depending. you get them from. Mm -hmm. So you can get just the nib separately in all the different widths. Okay, and okay. so then you just you just have the same. You just need one ink body and one body, and then okay, different ink, different nice. pen nibs. Okay, instead we're gonna... of buying four different pens, you've got one pen with different yeah. nibs. And again, we're going to come back to that one. I like this that. final one that I brought for the beginner pen section is from a company called Jin Hao, which is a Chinese company. Okay. This is the Jin Hao Nine Nine Two, and again, this retails for about ten dollars. So really inexpensive. Um, again, I like the clear bodies. I don't, yeah, I don't know. So it's these like are called demonstrators. Fun. Okay. Is, the clear body is called a demonstrator, and it is literally so you can see how, how much it works. How it works and how okay. it goes together. And how it goes together. And also you can see how much ink you have right. left, right? Which is kind of a nice feature. In this pen, you can't see You that. cannot tell how much <laughs> ink you have, so you don't know if you're running low and need to refill. This one, you can tell. You can tell. Um, which is just kind of a fun feature. Um, the Jin Hao is a company, I mean, $10 for a Jin Hao is about, they have more expensive pens, right. but I don't know that I would pay more than that Just, for their higher end lines. You can get them for as little as 2 and $3 a piece. Oh, wow. Um, and, but it's, now, and it's still a good pen just because it's... The quality. She, she's making a face. I'm making a face. She's making you a face. See. <laughs> the quality on the Jin Hao varies. Okay. Okay. However... When you're paying so little for a pen like this, it might be okay. It might be okay. Yeah. Right. All Depends these other, on what you're using it for. It too. really does. It really does. All these other pens, um, I personally have had great experiences with these brands, um, and uh, you know, I have I've been very. And it's lucky. not like you've never used any other brand. These are right. You've been using a lot of. I've known Evelyn for a while, <laughs> and she uses a lot of pens, and yes. so she's like done all the hard work for us, and yes. then we just have we just get to benefit. That's from her right. Experience. And these are all fun, you know. And and I've showed you a lot of pens. I mean, altogether, I have j just from what I've shown you, I've invested money in right. it. But any one of them is not that big of an investment right. if you want to try them out. If you want to try out um, some fountain pens. Some usage. fountain pens. Now, I love it. Just quickly, I want to show you a few higher end pens. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start with this one, this little beat up thing. Oh my goodness. Um, that one's had some love. This one has had some love. So this is my oldest owned pen, right? Oh, it's not it's, my oldest pen. It's but the it's oldest the pen one you've had. I've had. And I bought this probably back in 99, 2000, somewhere okay, in there. Okay. Okay. So it's not super old. It's like a child. Yes. <laughs> like 17 yes. years old <laughs> and again it's a steel nib pen it's from a german brand called diplomat um and they make some very nice pens mm -hmm. um and it, it. it does it's a metal barrel um so all these other ones are kind of plastic this one was i want to say when i bought it was like 40 dollars. okay so in 1990 for, something. in 1990 something they do not make this exact pen anymore but the similar line uh -huh. is still about 40 to 50 okay okay That's okay not too so bad. it's not outrageously expensive it's kind of your mid to um upper end got it um what are they called it's car car right when like, we're talking about so, our cars so this would be more like a an, an accord yeah or a, or a camry yes <laughs> um and this is the diplomat oh i love that ink okay that's really pretty. yeah that's a very pretty ink uh that is edelstein um Edelstein. Edelstein. It's one of those German. Sapphire, things. did you say? Sapphire is the oh. name of that color. It's a really pretty color. Tally wants to get in on this. So. <laughs> um, and I just, again, I this this is a well loved pen, as you can see. There's all sorts of dings and marks on it, but it it just has brought me a lot of joy over the years, and I love it, even though it's no longer pretty looking. Um, and then some of the other ones I brought with me. 
And again, now we're kind of getting into the more expensive pens. This particular pen was um, is a limited edition color from Sailor. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in Sky. And you notice that it's got silver around the cap and, and um, the furniture, as we call it, is silver, but the nib is gold. Well, that's because I didn't like the nib that came on it, and so I traded with someone, um, and they happen to have a gold color nib, and it originally came with a silver nib colored nib. Now, these are actually, this is an actual gold nib pen. So when you get into gold nib pens, so th this pen is about 150 to 160 dollars. Okay. Um, but it's gold. But it's got a gold nib. So that, as you get into more expensive pens, it's often the difference that you see is whether the nib is gold, and then, you know, if the color is limited edition or something like that. Okay. So this is the. No, it's not either one of those. It's the Sailor. <laughs> Sailor. Pro Gear. Slim. That's really cool. And one of the things when you get into gold nibs oh. is you kind of get a little more expressiveness. And this is just regular copy paper, so we're getting something called feathering a little bit where the line isn't as crisp as you might want it to be. Oh, I that's don't know if you so... can see that. And that's just with the amount of pressure you're getting that Exactly. Thick and thin. I'm getting a little bit of thick and thin with the amount of pressure. Okay. That's called springiness. Springiness. Um, or sometimes called flexibility. Now, flexibility. when you get into older pens, Vintage pens, mm -hmm. pens from like the 30s and 40s when everyone re actually wrote with yeah. a fountain pen because the ballpoint had not been, had invented. Not been invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of those are very flexible. I do not have any pens that fall into that category. Um, and you that's can just me the uh, next purple one. The purple? Yeah. So this is the exact same wow. pen in a different color. <sighs> okay. The, the, this one was a limited edition color or a special oh, okay. edition color. This one is in their standard line. Okay. Okay. Purple. Purple. Because purple. Surprise. I know. Big surprise. Look at that. So notice again, this has a silver nib, but it is still a gold nib. 14 karat gold nib. Okay. So this is, again, also inked. And again, with just a little pressure, you get kind of some line variation, but these are not designed to be really flexible. This right. is literally called a hard, fine nib. A hard, okay? fine nib, okay. So it's just designed to put the line down nicely. Okay. And you don't have to press very hard to get a line out of oh, a fountain pen. I mean, I'm barely putting just, my you're pen. You're just like kind of resting the pen. And I'm just it kind around. of resting the pen on the paper. So um, pretty. And then the last pen I want to show you, this is from Platinum also. So we've seen some. Uh, I didn't have any low-end uh, sailors, but um, I had some lower-end platinums, and this one is their um, 3776 Century line, and again, <laughs> this is a hundred under a hundred dollar pen oh. for the most part, a hundred, 120 maybe, depending on who you're buying it from, right. but this has what's called a soft fine nib on it. A soft so, fine. Yes, so if you notice, again... There we go. Not too much pressure. I can get a line out of it. But if I really press, I can get quite a bit of line variation out of this. That's really cool. Right? I want to take a video when we're done, when we have our, um, when we put it up on YouTube. Um, I want you guys to see this from the side, like how it, it's oh, yeah, pressing that it, down. It will it, actually flex. Yeah, so. It, it is flexible. That is really cool. Yeah. So, and if you just, it's running out of ink a little bit, but anyways, if I just drag it down, it's fine, but if I go a little bit slower and kind of add a little bit of pressure to my writing, I get that line variation. That's and that's cool. one of the things about fountain pens that are so much right, fun. Right, right. I love it. Is it adds an expressiveness to your writing. And again, I'm not the most beautiful writer in the world, but... I st no, these just still so make me fun. feel very, very happy, and I love writing with them. Um, I think that we're going to call this for today. Okay. So this is very cool. Um, I want to have Evelyn back, though, for sure, to talk about, like, the the cartridges and how to re-ink them and re or refill them, rather. One of the things, though, that Evelyn said earlier is that if you are changing, we talked about the ink coloring. If you are changing your ink from one to color another. to another color, you have to completely... You want to rinse your nib out because you don't want to... And the best tool for that is this little thing right here. 
Um, I believe it's called a bulb syringe, but no, we, I, we, we call affectionately it, call it a booger sucker. It's a booger sucker here okay. at Finders Keepers. <laughs> so you fill it with water, right? Compress it underneath water, fill it with, and then you stick it into... Let's find one that's not inked that I can show you real quick. Yeah. Of course. No, you're trying to do it while you're I holding am. it. Oh. You stick that in there. This has now got water in it, and you just do that a couple times, three, four times. Just to get the that extra ink to out. To get the extra ink out. Um, you don't want your inks to... It contaminate the each other. The inks are touching. Yeah, you don't... In this, in this case, you don't want the inks are touching. The, only, the other thing I want to say real quick is... Yes, um, the each cartridges. brand pen has its own oh, yes. cartridge type. And this size. little guy here is called a Standard International. Um, the Caveco takes this, but this, you can see, not just the, the length of the cartridge, but the, the male-female part of the cartridge oh, is yeah. not the same. Okay? Look at that. So this one so you is, have to be aware of that if you're going to buy a to cartridge be, to refill. Exactly. And that's where you buying a bottle of ink, such as this Ooh, okay pretty look at you guys it's purple surprise comes into comes into play you buy one of these you get a very cheap um, again from Amazon you could get um, what are these called syringes syringes thank you okay suck the ink out of here and with an empty cartridge put it in there refill it and then this can go back in your pen yeah um, and I, I apologize, I went so long with everything else. No, no, we didn't no. get to talk about everything, but I'm happy to come back. Um, because now she has so much more to show you guys. So now we're just, we're going to have to have Miss Evelyn come back again. Is that okay? I would, would you come back and join us again? I would love to come back again Yay! anytime. I just love all of this. I think it is all so cool. She's got um, cool nibs. There's just so much more to show. See, here's some more different nibs. So again, back to, to that ABC that pen. ABC These are pen. all different size nibs that you can just pop into. Look at this one. This one's like really thick. Yep. For really wide. For like a more calligraphy effect. To do calligraphy stuff. So, so she's got a lot more information. She is now our pen expert, oh. our, our resident pen expert. Uh -oh. she, she's making a face now again, <laughs> um, but we will love, we will, we would love to have you come back again and show us some more. I would love to come um, back anytime. Do, do you like an entire segment just on like the, how to do the refilling and the yeah, cartridges? And absolutely. Stuff? Um, Cause I think that would be a lot of fun. And I think as people sort of get these and start using them, they're going to have more questions and things. So if you guys do have any questions as you get these, please be sure and leave comments and share and come back and visit us again. Um, and one last thing, too, is we just released our latest planner pop on uh, Monday, Tuesday. And so I just wanted to show you very quickly. I have mine already. Evelyn already has hers. She bought it that day. And um, so for this planner pop, it's called Through the Seasons. And there's washi. There's tons of stickers. There's eight sheets of stickers. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. You get bookmarks you can make. You get two different dashboards because we couldn't decide which one to give you. And so we just gave you everything and because we love you. And so just to show you a little bit, this is what I did with mine. Here's one of my bookmarks. Um, I just double layered it. I actually used the washi to create the ribbon for the bookmark tie. Same with this one. I just used this birch washi. Did some, um, some categorizing for my book. And then I'm actually using them this month as sort of scrapbooking sort of things. So here's pictures of my girls when we were in the snow a couple years ago. We went to Big Bear. And um, I really liked the idea of using these pens on uh, this paper to do sort of like a bullet list or to-do list to have that in there for the month. Um, and so I'm going to, I think I'm going to steal the purple one because I'm like the purple but we'll get some paint we'll get some ink in there and then I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use this one and this one the and this one no, she's taking all and, the purple ones and I just you know cuz I like the purple ones so here <laughs> Thanks again, Evelyn. As always, if you guys have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. This will be up on YouTube in about a week or so. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and come back and join us again. We love you guys. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for visiting. We'll talk to you soon.